Guild to Work Story is brought to you by General Atomics and Northeast Mississippi Community College. Saving lives isn't just something superheroes do. You can actually get a job doing it. For this week's Guild to Work, I took a trip down the road to find out how you can join a fire crew. If you're interested in getting a job fighting fires and saving lives, a fire station might be just the place for you. It's a new thing every single day. So you want to be a firefighter? You have to be willing to say. Jack Wiz Hardy is a firefighter at Fire Station 1 in Tupelo. He started there about five months ago. Before that, personal experience has affected his decision to work there. I actually had a couple incidents in my life where the fire department showed up and made a big difference. One of those instances was a car accident in which the car caught on fire. Hardy knew the two people in the car personally. So my mom called the, the fire department, they got there and they just pulled the guys out. You know, I got to help a little bit, which was pretty cool, and it was just one of those experiences that kind of helped me decide I wanted to be a firefighter. Firefighter Peyton Griffin advised new recruits to learn as much as they can. Because whenever the time comes, you're going to have to perform that knowledge that people have been trying to teach you. Anyone who would like to be a firefighter only needs a high school diploma or GED. And as Chief Jimmy Avery explained, you'll gain a lot of experience on the job. It's really just anything you can do to help the community. I mean, it's really... It's really broad <laughs> over the last several years. The number of people the department sees apply annually has dropped during the pandemic. However, he explained that right now his department is fully staffed. They simply have fewer people applying for a job. You need to be 18 years old to work. You know, fire doesn't, doesn't check your ID uh, when you go in, but as long as you can do it, well, that's okay. If you pass the test, you're, you're good. For anyone becoming a firefighter, Hardy said you need to be selfless, but also humble. You know, I got to be one of the people that's willing to not be the ones that get out of the spotlight, but do a lot of the work. Firefighters need to take a work keys test at a community college. They ask that everybody scores silver or above for that test. You also need a valid driver's license and you'll need to take the MSTAT, which is a trainee agility fitness test. The chief said you can apply for a position at the fire department on the city's website. 